What's up guys, we are still updating you what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Alright, uh, greetings to you wherever you are. So I have this uh, video to share with you because it has sparked a lot of outrages from Nigeria. I mean, Nigerians are like, this is not what we voted for. Uh, Nigerians are like, we voted for a president that will reduce the level of hunger in the land. But why did we now vote for a president uh, that is pleading with Nigerians to endure the hardship brought upon the country due to the removal of fuel subsidy? All right, so according to Tinibu, he promised that things would get better uh, with time, you understand, and also uh, gave the assurance in Imo State where he attended the inauguration of uh, the state governor, that is uh, Hope Uzodima, for a second term. Uh, that was yesterday, Monday, January 15, uh, January 15, 2024. All right, I will allow you to listen to uh, the moment Tinibu explained that he watched the news and see the pain people are going through due to the removal of uh, subsidy. After watching this video, if you have anything to contribute, uh, put it down on the comment section below. Let us listen to what Tinibu told Nigerians about the hardship uh, that is ravaging the country over the removal of world subsidy. I stand before you to say you have gone through twists and turns of democracy. You have been through some aspect of hard decisions. Each time I watch the news and see one frame or the other, one pain or the other, associated with the removal of subsidy. Just remember that among you, your families are pregnant people. The day of birth is the day of pain. You go through the labor pain. When you see or you hear the voice of the baby, your pains are gone and you are relieved. <laughs> Nigeria is a teach. The last 40 years, some very few people We are cornering our commonwealth, calling it subsidy. I call it wasteful and thievery. But right now, we are going through the pain. We are sharing that pain. But today, we are inaugurating a man's second term, a renewed hope. And that is why I am here. To guarantee you the hope that things are looking up. Things are getting better. And then we get greater and better for the common good of the Nigerian public. We just need to work hard, be more patient, persevere, and you have consistency in governance. Don't worry. With me here, 
is hope. The real hope. Development in the education of your children. You will see the priority in industrialization. Healthcare will receive more allocation and more attention. about the Japa syndrome. We will train more people. And then we can supply themselves. 